Okay, folks, today at 333 Performance, uh, we're working on this XR1200. It's an 09. Last year we ran it at the strip. Uh, the, the guy that owns it, Dalton, um, also likes to ride it on the street. So it's we're calling it a convertible XR12. Um, last year was pretty much stock. Uh, we did a few engine mods to it. We did some exhaust work, uh, tuned it, uh, and some powder coating and repaint the engine. Usually the engines are silver in this. We like it black because it just matches better. Originally this bike was orange. Uh, it's now all blacked out. Um, the only orange in it is going to be the powder coat. So we thought we'd kind of show you what an XR12 looks like all tore apart. If you look at the crankshaft here, that crankshaft is the biggest crankshaft I've ever seen in a Sportster engine. You do have to buy special stuff when you're dealing with an XR12. So this is Harley's race bike, you know, kind of along the line of a Buell, but still just a little bit different. So we're going to go through, we're actually got it all tore apart. We sent some stuff out. We're putting a 1275 kit in uh, through Hammer Performance and also um, some offset cams and uh, we repowder coated his wheels. They were kind of a, a dingy black, more of a... Um, a, a faded black they weren't shiny so we sent the wheels out had them repowder coated we're setting them up for chain drive it used to be belt drive but this thing we we're hoping to put out over 120 horse with it as you see we got the struts on it um, he does have a set of shocks he does have a street tire on the back we have an extra wheel for the slick and a wheelie bar set up on it um, but just kind of show you what an XR12 looks all tore down here uh, the front wheel we kind of did the same he had a fork leak so we took the fork off we're going to um, rebuild the fork uh, these things are complicated fork systems these show a forks on here they ain't no joke uh, you got to definitely know what you're doing to tear these things apart uh, i'll show you the front wheel we had it repowder coated and we also upgraded the disc brakes in the front isn't that beautiful so that'd be the wheel on the front that will always be on there but well, we do have two wheels for the back, so one's a slick, one's uh, the street tire. Hopefully this thing ain't too snappy for the street, because um, he can't really afford another bike. So we're going to try to still keep it as a convertible, but, you know, Busa's beware. Because when you see this low XR out there, I don't know that you want to run up against it. And if you do, have a pocket full of money, because that's what it's going to take to run us. Um... As soon as we get it back together or get the rest of the parts in, we'll kind of go through it again and show you uh, the rest of these videos. Uh, it might take a couple of them because uh, there's definitely some stages to go here. Again, so here's the XR1200 front right fork assembly. And like I said, it is a complicated little piece of work here. Um, we could upgrade it, but we really just don't have the money at this point to... Uh, to upgrade it to a little bit better suspension so uh, we're gonna work with what we got rebuild it put new seals in fix everything that's wrong and uh, put it back on the bike it should be fine okay so we've got a lot put back together on this little XR uh, I got the exhaust on got the cylinders on gotten a lot of our powder coat on so we're just going through the final details of different things uh, we had the fender on before we're gonna rub it out we're gonna rub some of the paint out but just give you guys an idea kind of what it looks like in this stage uh, it's going to be a little bad mamba jamba when we get it all done i uh, can't wait to see the final uh, result uh, this is a little mod that we did too uh, for this back uh, light uh, it was totally different it had blinkers big old plastic piece on it so this is a little and uh actually now it's got the blinkers built into the light leds and your brake light so uh yeah, pretty cool. Cool little stuff that we're doing here and should be finished up here in the next day or two. We reheader wrap the the exhaust and uh did a header wrap video for y'all to to see and uh you can check that deal out. It's a pain in the ass, but uh it's well well worth the work. So uh we'll show you it all completed. Alright, now it's working. All right, so we just got this XR all put together. Got the gas tank on. Um, it's not quite finished, but it's finished enough to start it. Got the new Halo headlight on there, and it will definitely blind you. 
Everything seems to be hooked up. We're gonna tee it up a couple times. We're gonna let her fire up. See what happens. All right. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah the fuel sound a lot better now too. Yeah. XR 1200 world's fastest XR 1200 looks like when it's all done Boosas beware So yeah, I think she came out really nice uh, We're gonna get it over to the dyno and uh, start doing some tuning on it here shortly We still have some uh, more heat cycles to go through and uh, Should be all done should be fun XR 1200.